Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be reading this book and it's called Nine Things to Remember and One and One to Forget. It's by Alison Binks and that's the front cover. Let's get into the story. Before we start, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. So, further ado, let's get this video started. You learn how to hold a book again. Here we have a knife, trees. Nine things to remember. Oops! I dropped the book. Nine things to remember. Now I'm going to read the pages and then I'm going to show you the illustrations. If you sleep outside, remember that the words awake every. I can't speak English today, I chose the wrong day to read a book, but anyways, the start of the book is, if you sleep outside, remember that birds wake up very early to sing. Except for the big swooping kind who've been hunting all night, they're just going to sleep. Whoops. If you're not ever lucky enough to see the pelican fly, remember to watch how close I'm back after 10 minutes. If you're lucky enough to see the pelican fly, remember to watch close how to the water she glides. You'd think her belly would get wet, but the pelican is too clever flyer for that. Now, this picture is a pelican over the water. It's a shadow and you're going to love it. Beautiful illustrations. When the tide runs out, dip your toes in the warm water of the rock pools. Remember to look for squiggly lines in the sand. A shell creeping along on a soft foot has made the squiggle. Only one foot and she can carry her house on her back. So where does this girl live? She lives in the bush? It says at the start, if you sleep outside, remember that the birds are early to sing. And then she said, except for big swooping kind who've been hunting all night, they're just going to go to sleep at night. And then if you're lucky enough to see how the pelican fly, make sure you remember to watch how closely it glides because you think her belly would get wet, but it's never too clever a flyer that. And then here it says, when the tide runs out, you dip to your toes in the nice warm rock pools. And to remember for the squiggly lines in the sand and the shell creeping along her soft foot. So here's a beautiful illustration of that page. Did you know the moon controls the tide, tugging the water away from the earth? 
Remember the silent work of the moon when you're jumping waves. How cute is this, guys? They're jumping the waves all together. Here are all the girls. <laughs> I should be holding a book, how a normal person would hold it and not showing pictures after. I've actually read it. Anyway, just gonna put that under there like that, like that. Here we go. Sorry about this. I think this is a better way to share. I think this is a better way to share. I'm just gonna read it like this. In some desert places, there are frogs living deep underground, waiting for the rain. Sometimes they wait for years until they hear thrumming overhead only they can remember come up to play when you're feeling cross remember the quiet patience of the little frog did you know polar bears have very smelly feet their footprints in icy carry scent messages for bears remember never tickle to polar bears between his big furry smelly toast you, you scramble the messages have you ever noticed the hands of a monkey they look a lot like ours sometimes it's good to be a, like a monkey and all right before i continue have you noticed nine things to remember and back here since the first page let me find it. Things to remember. Here. It always says remember on every like second page. And it says if you sleep outside, remember the birds wake that every early. And then no. And then if you're lucky enough to see the pelican fly. Remember, blah, blah, blah. When the tide runs out, dip your toes in the warm water of the rock pools. Remember, blah, blah, blah. Did you know that the moon controls the tides tugging the water away from the earth? Remember, blah, blah, blah. In some desert places, there are frogs living deep underground, waiting for rain. Sometimes they wait for years until they hear thrumming over their head. Only they can come up to play. When are you feeling cross? Remember, blah, blah, blah. And then here it says, did you know polar bears have smelly feet? Their footprints in, in the icy scent of messages for bears. Remember, blah, blah, blah. And here, what we're up to. So this is just the second page. It doesn't ever remember on it, but anyway. It says, Have you ever noticed the hands of a monkey? They look like a lot like ours. Sometimes it's good to be like a monkey and... Forget your shoes. And here at the front it says, and one to forget. And the forget one is forget your shoes. And here there's a little girl doing a cartwheel. Yeah, there's a girl doing a cartwheel. And here. Get your shoes. Still going. 
remember, trees can live much longer than people. Sometimes they're so wide it takes lots of your friends to hug them. So remember, it says remember at the top here. And they're all hugging the tree. All helping each other. Oh, this is a very nice illustration. And some and some are tall. The creatures who live upstairs never even meet the ones living downstairs. This is a beautiful illustration. It's so like tall and everything. Remember to look up the, at the night sky. Each of the moon is a little rounder or similar than the night before each star is a sun belonging to far away galaxy. This is like a night sky and I'll be back. I'm back. I saw I skipped a page but I didn't. So this is a galaxy page. It's like a night sky. Long ago people read their stories from the starry sky. Travellers found their way using stars. The stars are still there to help you if you lose your way home. Just a wavy picture. And when you said goodnight to the stars and the moon, when you're feeling floating into sleep, remember the children outside of the world are just waking up. At the start it said be careful because because remember the birds, remember for example, and I says, maybe to a bird, so obviously they woke up early with a bird. So. Very nice, and then this is a patch. At the back here it has a blurb, I forgot to read the blurb but I'm going to read it to you now. This is like, you should predict at the start. See if your predictions are right. This is just a did you know one and a little red message. So I'm going to read it. So it says, it says, Did you know polar bears have really smelly feet? Their footprints in the icy carry scent messages for other bears. Remember to never tickle a polar bear between its big furry smelly toes. You scramble the messages. So do you remember that page? Here it says in the red message. Here it says, Nine things to remember and one to forget. It's an odd to nature. Each turn on the page reveals a small wonder Something to investigate, discover, and celebrate. So it's my special book here. Here it is. I have an activity. Like some homework to do. Then every book I read, I'm going to give you guys a piece of homework. So in nine things to remember, your homework is going to be to write nine things. Like the book. And it's just one to forget. We can do a lot. I'll be back. I said something wrong. I'll be back. I'm back. So you need to write four things. I'll be back. I'm back. Sorry, just so much misunderstandings and everything during this thing. But I'm still going to praise to you guys. So here you'd write four things. And one thing to forget. But for an extension, do nine things and one to f to forget. And your and your favourite part of the picture in a box below. See you guys next time. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Without further ado, enough talking for me. Bye. Woo!